Yo guys welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll show you 3 easy methods to increase the smoothness of your edits like this. So let's begin. Alright first add your clips or clip that you want to increase the frame rate. Then we need to match the project settings according to your video clip. For that right click your video clip and select properties. Then you can find which resolution and frame rate your video has. So now let's change our project settings. So go to the project settings, then add your video resolution and frame rate in here, then click OK. After that we need to export this. So go to the export, add a name here, then select settings, and change quality to higher. And also make sure to add the same resolution and frame rate you use in your project. Then you can change other settings you like. Then click export. So after that I will show you how to do the same thing in CapCut. Ok, open the CapCut, and add your edit clips to the timeline. Then we need to match the project settings according to your video clip. So you can do that by simply clicking this modify button right here. Then I change the resolution to customize, and I add my video resolution here. Ok, then I change the frame rate to 24 FPS. But my video is 23.97 FPS, and we don't have that frame rate in CapCut. There is a small value difference, but it's okay I select 24 FPS. Okay, then click save. So now we need to export this, so go to the export, and export your video with the same resolution and frame rate you use in your project. Okay, after exporting your videos, we need to increase the frame rate to get this smoothness, so I will show you three easy ways how to do that. Okay, first one is the flow frames. So you can download this flow frame tool through the link in the description, and also in my Discord server. So this software is completely free. So the first thing we need to do is add our exported video to this. So I drag and drop my exported video like this. Okay, then I change the interpolation AI to this first one. After that you can find our input frame rate and the output frame rate here. Then you can select which times you need to increase your frame rate. So we need to change this to 60 FPS or above. So I select three times. And here you can change the video speed, so I keep it to normal speed. Then we have a few AI models here. In here I select the 4.0 latest model. Then you can select the output format, so I keep it to MP4. Ok, after that click this interpolate button to start the process. Ok after exporting here's the difference between the before and after. Ok guys this is the first method. For the second method I'm going to use Topaz Video Enhancer. Also you can check the link in my discord server to get this. Ok first we need to add our exported video to this. So I add my exported video like this. So after that go to the setting panel right here. Then change the video quality to high and video type to progressive. Then change the artifact type to motion jitter and choppy frame rate. And change chronos fast to chronos slow mo. Then you can change the video speed here. So I keep it to normal speed. Then you can select the output format. So I keep it to MP4. And keep the constant rate factor value to default. Then you can select the output frame rate here. So I select 60 FPS. Ok after that click this start processing button. So this process takes few minutes to complete. Ok after exporting here's the difference between the before and after. Ok so in the third method I will show you how to smooth your edit using After Effects. So if you have After Effects, you need to install a plugin called Twixter. So you can download that in my Discord server. Ok after that open After Effects and create a new composition. Then you can name the composition, and add your video resolution here. Then you can change the frame rate, and make sure to add the output frame rate you need. So I select 60 FPS. Then click OK. Ok now we created our new composition, then add your exported video to After Effects. Ok after that we need to pre-compose this video layer. So simply select the layer and press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose. Then you can add a name and hit OK. Ok then let's use the Twixter plugin, 
So go to the Effects tab and search Twixter. Then double click to apply that. Then go to the effects settings and first uncheck this. Then you need to add your video frame rate in here. Also you can check your video frame rate right here. After that put the frame rate here. Then go to the image prep and change it to this second one. Then increase the motion sensitivity to 100. Also you can change the video speed here. So I keep it normal. Then go to frame interpolation and change it to motion weight blend and also enable this smart blend. Okay guys now it's done, so here's the result. Okay after that you can export this, so go to the file, select export, then select add to render queue, then you can copy my settings. After that click render. Okay, after exporting, here's the difference between the before and after. So after that, I will show you how to use these videos. So first add your new exported video to Filmora, then add it to the timeline. After that, you can hide or remove your old video. Then we need to change the project frame rate. So go to the project settings and change the frame rate to 60 FPS. Also in the CapCut, first add your new exported video. Then click this modify button. After that change the frame rate to 60 FPS, then click save. So now you can continue your edit, and also you can use speed ramping without any frame drop. So guys that's how we can increase the smoothness of our video. So I hope this video helps you, and also if you like this kind of tutorial, Please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. So let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.